Hi everyone, welcome to First PU Biology Practical 3. So dear students, in this practical, we are going to be discussing about different animal groups. The first one is Amoeba. Amoeba, it comes under the phylum Protozoa. It comes under the phylum Protozoa. And the class Sarcodina. Yes, in the right side, we can observe the picture of Amoeba. It's a single cell and irregular in shape with many blunt pseudopodias. Pseudopodias. This blunt pseudopodias helps in movement of Amoeba, locomotion and movement of Amoeba. Yes, and presence of deeply stained nucleus and presence of contractile vacuole. Contractile vacuole. So this contractile vacuole, which is helps in maintain the water quantity in inside the cell, and also presence of many food vacuoles. So these food vacuoles store the food material and digest the food materials. These are all about amoeba. Amoeba is a single cell, irregular in shape and presence of many blunt pseudopodias, deeply stained nucleus, presence of contractile vacuum and food vacuoles. The next one is Hydra. Hydra is comes under the phylum Nideria. See here, those animals are invertebrates which means doesn't have backbone or spines and class hydrozoa class hydrozoa yes yes in the right side we can observe the picture of hydra yes here the body is elongated and cylindrical polyp with long slender contractile vacuole it encircling the hypostome hypostome or oral end or oral end and the aboral end is flat for attachment of substratum which means supporting object is called basal disc and the reproduction through vegetative vegetative methods or or formation of formation of gonads yes this is all about hydra this comes under the phylum nideria and class hydrozoa the body is elongated and cylindrical polyp with long slender contractile vacuole encircling the hypostome and the aboral end is a flat for attachment with the substratum that is called a basal disc and the reproduction is takes place by both vegetative methods and formation of gonads. The next one is fasciola. Fasciola, commonly called as liver fluke. Liver fluke. Yes, it comes under the phylum flatihelminthes. and class trematoda trematoda yes in the right side we can observe the picture of fasciola commonly called as a liver fluke here the fasciola is a bisexual and the body is dorsiventrally flattened and it's up to 20 to 30 micrometer in length and 4 to 12 micrometer in width. Yes, in anterior part, we can observe presence of mouth. That mouth is uh, surrounded by oral sucker. Oral sucker. Just 3 micrometer below presence of ventral sucker. Ventral sucker. The ventral sucker is called acetabulum it's 
called acetabulum. Slightly above the acetabulum, presence of gonophore. Yes, in the picture, we can observe above the acetabulum, presence of gonophore. And the posterior end is the excretory pore. Posterior end is the excretory pore. Yes, these are all about. These are all about fasciola, commonly called as liver fluke. It comes under phylum platyal menthes, class trematoda, and the bisexual. It is a dorsal ventral flatten, 20 to 30 micrometer length and 4 to 12 micrometer in width, and the mouth is surrounded by oral sucker. Just 3 micrometer below the oral sucker, presence of ventral sucker that is called acetabulum and just slightly above the acetabulum presence of gonophore and the posterior end is the excretory pole. Yes, the next one is ascaris. Ascaris commonly called as round worm. Commonly called as round worm. Yes, it comes under the phylum Haskelmenthes and class nematoda. Class nematoda. Yes, in the right side we can observe the picture of Ascor is commonly called as round worm. And here the body is elongated and has the tapering ends. And totally the body has four longitudinal lines. One is dorsal side, another one is ventral side, the remaining two are lateral side. And the mouth is covered with three lips. One is mid dorsal and two are ventrolateral. And the excretory pore is ventrally placed just below the anterior end. And the female one is longer than male. And the genital aperture present mid ventrally at the one third of the anterior pore. Yes. And the male with the curved tip have pineal specules close to the cloacal openings. These are all about ascaris. The next one is ferritema. Ferritema, commonly called as earthworm, friends of farmers. Earthworm. Yes, earthworm is, comes under the phylum. Anilido. and class oligocheta oligocheta yes in the right side we can observe the picture of ferritema commonly called as earthworm friends of farmers yes here the body is uh, cylindrical and elongated metamerically segmented metamerically segmented and shows both anterior end and posterior end. The anterior end is pointed and the posterior end is blunted. And the mouth is in the ventral region in the first metamere is called peristomium. It's called peristomium. And in adult earthworms, 14th to 16th segments, 14th to 16th segments or thick is called clitellum. It's called clitellum. Yes, in the right side, we can observe the picture of ferritema, commonly called as earthworm, friends of farmer. So, here the body is cylindrical and elongated, and each body is metamerically segmented. Metamerically segmented and shows two ends one is anterior, is pointed and the posterior is uh, blunted and the mouth is in the ventral region is in the first metamere is called peristomium it's called peristomium and the anus is in the last metamere in adult earthworms 14th to 16th segments 14th to 16th segments are thick is called Clitellum is called 
clitellum. Yes. Yes, we can observe the 14th to 16th segments region is called thick, is called clitellum. And the both male and female genital aperture present in 14th to 18th segments, ventrolaterally and midventrally respectively. And 17th to 19th segments, 19th segments have ventrolaterally genital papillae genital papillae yes. and the spermatic are found ventrolaterally between the growth 5 to 6 6 to 7 8 to 9 metameres this is all about earthworm the next one is erudin area erudin area commonly called as leech Yes, erudin area is comes under the phylum Anilida and class Erudinia. Yes, in the right side we can observe the erudin area, a leech. See, here the body is dorsimentally flattened and moist body on dorsal side green in color and ventral side yellow in color. And the presence of anterior sucker with the central mouth and anus near posterior sucker and metamerically segmented body with 33 segments and each segment has 5 annuli. And presence of male and female genital pore on ventral 11th segment. 11th segments. This is all about erudin area. Yes, erudin area commonly called as leech here. The body is dorsiventrally flattened and moist body, dorsal green in color, ventral yellow in color and presence of anterior sucker with the cover the central mouth and anus near posterior sucker and the metamedically segmented body with the 33 segments and each segment has 5 annuli and presence of male and female genital pore on the ventral region of the 10th to 11th segments. Yes, the next one is Palemon. Palemon commonly called as prawn. Yes, the prawn comes under the phylum Anilida and class Crustace, class Crustace. Yes, in the right side we can observe the picture of prawn. Prawn is variable in size and laterally compressed body is divided into anterior cephalothorax, anterior cephalothorax, and posterior abdomen, posterior abdomen, and. The cephalothorax as chitinous cover is called carapace. Extending to the carapace, presence of rostrum. Yes. And the abdomen has six biramis swimmerates and walking legs. Terminally, presence of a pointed structure is called telson. It's called telson. And presence of a broad uropode. Uropode. See, totally 16 appendages present from cephalothorax to abdomen. So, these are all about prawn. Prawn comes under the phylum Anelida and class Crustacei. So, it is variable in size and the laterally compressed body is divided into anterior cephalothorax and posterior abdomen. And the cephalothorax covers the chitinous body that is called carophase. Continuous to the carophase, extending to the carophase is called rostrum. And the abdomen has six biramis swimmerates and walking legs and terminally presence of pointed structure that is called a telson and presence of broader uropod. And totally 16 jointed appendages present from cephalothorax to abdomen. 
The next one is Bumbax Mori. Bumbax Mori, commonly called as silk worm, called as silk worm. So it comes under the phylum, phylum Arthropoda and class Insecta. Yes, Bumbax Mori, commonly called as silk worm, which feed on mulberry. Mulberry. Yes, in the right side, we can observe the picture of uh, silk worm. So here, presence of creamy white stout body is divided into three parts. One is head, thorax and abdomen. Head, thorax and abdomen. Yes, head, thorax and abdomen. Each are covered with microscopic scales. And the head contain a pair of compound eyes, compound eyes, and presence of antenna, presence of antenna, and the thorax region has ventrally pair of legs, and dorsally pair of wings. Yes, this is all about uh, Bombax modi, commonly called as silk wall. It comes under phylum arthropoda class insecta. Yes, here the body is a, a creamy white stout body is divided into three parts head, thorax and abdomen and each body is covered by microscopic scales and the head contain a pair of compound eye and presence of antenna and ventrally presence of the thorax has pair of legs and dorsally presence of pair of wings. Yes, the next one is Apis indica. Indica, commonly called as honeybee. Honeybee. Yes, it comes under phylum Arthropoda, Arthropoda, and class Insecta, Insecta, order, order Hymenoptera, Hymenoptera. Yes, Apis indica is commonly called as uh, honeybee. See, honeybee is a social insect which is divided into three categories. One is queen, drone, and worker. Queen, yes, we can observe in the right side presence of queen, drone, and worker. Yes, the body containing head and three ocelli and presence of mouth parts ventrally. And the thorax has prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Each thorax has pair of legs and presence of wings are attached to meso and metathorax and presence of six segments in abdomen. Let's discuss the honeybee's categories. Queen, queen is the one and only female fertile honeybee and which is in larger size and abdomen but smaller eyes, wings and legs and the drone is one and only fertile male which is smaller than queen and has larger eyes and wings and legs which develops in fertilization. The last one is worker. Worker is a sterile honeybee which is in smaller size smaller size and presence of pollen baskets in their thoracic legs. This are all about Apis indica honeybee. The next one is Pila globosa. Pila globosa, commonly called as apple snail. Commonly called as apple snail. Yes, it comes under the phylum Mollusca, phylum Mollusca, and class Gastropoda. Gastropoda. Yes, in the right side, we can observe the picture of Pila globus, apple snail. See here, it is an amphibious mollusca and it is 
Sigish organism. Sigish organism, which means slow moving organism. Slow moving organism. And it is present in freshwater habitat. And the body remain coiled in the calcareous cell. Calcareous shell. Calcareous, which means calcareous shell, it containing calcium carbonate. So the calcareous shell shows a wide opening that is called operculum. It's called operculum. And the body is divided into head, foot, and visceral mass and mantle. This is all about apple snail. The next one is Astrias. Astrias commonly called as starfish. Starfish. Yes, it comes under the phylum is Echinodermita. Echinodermita. And the class is Osteroidae. Osteroidae. Yes, in the right side we can observe the picture of starfish. Yes. The starfish shows marine habitat which is pentaberous and radially symmetrical and presence of central disc where from five tapering arms radiate ventrally to the opposite to oral surface and radiating from mouth five ambulacral grows ambulacral grows with two feet with two feet yes and the arboreal surface has anus and the junction between two arms presence of medroplite this is all about starfish this one is slidon Hidden, commonly called as shark. Yes, it comes under the phylum Chordata, Chordata, and class Chondrioctis. Chondrioctis. Yes, in the right side we can observe the picture of shark. It shows a streamlined body and a dorsi ventrally flattened body, and anterior and posterior region are laterally compressed and presence of elongated heterocerol tail heterocerol which means which means the fin shows two asymmetrical lobes this is called heterocerol tail and the body shows flacoid flacoid scales flacoid scales and presence of five gill slits and presence of eccentric mouth, which means backward facing teeth on jaws ventrally. And the male have claspers. Claspers. See, claspers are present in abdomen of male sharks, which hold the female one during reproduction. Yes, this is all about shark. Slide on, commonly called as shark, it comes under the phylum Chordata and class. Chondrioctis, it shows a streamlined body and a dorsiventrally body and anterior posterior laterally compressed and it shows heterocerol tail and the body shows flacoid scales and presence of five gill slits, paired and unfaired fins and eccentric mouth which means backward facing teeth present on jaws ventrally and the male have claspers during reproduction purpose. The next one is Labio Rohita. Commonly called as Rohu. Yes, it comes under the phylum Chordata and the class Osteoctis of Labio Rohita Rohu, commonly found in freshwater habitat, and the lateral 
compressed body and ventrally silver or green color, dorsally black in color and presence of homo sural tail which means the fin has symmetrical lobes and presence of mouth shows transverse opening near snout with fleshy lips and the body shows cycloid and dermal scales dermal scales and presence of different fins paired fins and unpaired fins the paired fins are pectoral and pelvic the unpaired fins are caudal dorsal anal this is all about labia rohita rohu the next one is frog yes frog is comes under the phylum chordata and class amphibia yes in the right side we can observe the picture of frog rana tigris yes here the body is bilaterally symmetrical and it is divided into head and trunk yes the head contain pair of nostrils and bulged eyes bulged eyes and presence of tympanic tympanum or tympanic membrane tympanic membrane which is cells for hearing cells for hearing and the abdomen has pair of four limbs pair of four limbs which has four digits four digits and presence of copulatory pads in males which is cells for pseudo copulation copulatory pad are also called nuptial nuptial pads which is cells for pseudo copulation and also presence of a pair of hind limbs which has five digits which is cells for swimming this is all about frog yes the next one is kelotis kelotis commonly called as garden lizard garden lizard yes it comes under the phylum chordata class reptilia as in the right side we can observe the picture of garden lizard okay is a arboreal the body is covered with rough erect epidermal backward unequal scales and the body is divided into head and trunk and the head is triangular and is triangular and presence of wide opening mouth opening mouth and presence of pair of nostrils nostrils and presence of eye that eye is covered by eyelid eyelids yes and the trunk shows both four limbs and hind limbs both are pentadactyles with claws pentadactyl pentadactyl limbs with claws is this are all about garden lizard the next one is columbia livia common the god has pigeon yes is comes under the phylum chordata class aves yes in the right side we can observe the picture of pigeon yes pigeon is a semi domestic streamlined body with feathers and the head shows toothless beak and presence of pair of nostrils and presence of eyes with nictitating membrane with nictitating membrane 
connecting membrane and presence of tympanum which is covered by feathers tympanum which is covered by feathers and the body shows both fore limbs and in limbs the fore limbs are modified into wings which is also for flight and the hind limbs with clawed digits is and cloaca at the posterior end of the trunk this is all about columbia olivia pigeon yes the next one is rabbit yes the rabbit comes under the class phylum caudata and class mammalia we can observe the right side the picture of rabbit see it is a fissorial fissor and herbivore herbivore and the body covered with and the head with blunt snout and pair of external ear pinna and the male rabbit shows cylindrical and muscular penis with the scrotal sac larger testes is the female rabbits have ulva with four pairs of mammary glands and it is viviparous this is all about rabbit yes dear students so in this practical 3 we will study about different groups of animals